Good evening and welcome to the news of Ashiroq TV. Today's stories include The Darfur track is to resume negotiations on the security agreement tomorrow. The Chinese medical expert delegation holds a technical meeting with the Federal Ministry of Health. The Darfur Lawyers Association has delivered an initial report on the breakup of the sit-in. The Southern Sudanese Peace Mediation in Juba has announced that it will resume the negotiations on Tuesday, the 2nd of June. The negotiations will be between the government and the Revolutionary Front. The mediation revealed that the agenda will include discussing the security agreements between the government delegations and the Darfur track. in both Khartoum and Juba. This will take place via video conference technology. The chief negotiator of the Darfur track, Mr. Ahmed Tagud Lisan, said in a statement that according to the schedule and agreements underway with the mediations and the parties involved in the peace process in the Juba platform, that the indirect negotiations of the path of the Darfur and Sudanese government will begin tomorrow on the security agreements. He noted that the Darfur track has presented a paper on the integrated vision of the mediation of which a copy was handed over to the government's party, which it has presented to the Darfur track through the mediation. The Technical Committee of the Federal Ministry of Health has held a meeting today with the Chinese medical expert delegations, which is currently visiting the country. The Director of the General Department of Emergency and Epidemic Control in the Ministry of Health, Dr. Babikir al Makbul, has affirmed in a statement that the meeting started with an opening session addressed by Dr. Sar Abdul Azim, who is the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Health and the Ambassador of China in Khartoum, followed by a technical session for the presentation of the epidemic situation in the country. He explained that the meeting was fruitful and the beginning of upcoming meetings to benefit from the Chinese experience in fighting the coronavirus with an attempt to apply them to the reality of Sudan. The Darfur Lawyer Association has handed over their initial report on the breaking up of the sitting on Sunday to the head of the investigations committee on the sitting, Mr. Nabil Adib. The two sides have agreed to the meeting later on after easing the COVID-19 restrictions. The Ethiopian foreign minister has expressed deep concern over what it termed as the May the 28th incident, which has occurred along the Sudanese-Ethiopian borders expressing his condolences and deep sympathy to the families of the victims in the two countries. The Sudanese armed forces have issued statements on Thursday on the breach of Sudan's international borders by the Ethiopian army, supported by the militia groups, which killed Sudanese commanders and a number of civilians, including children. In a statement issued by the Ethiopian foreign ministry, a spokesman said, Ethiopia works to contain the situation on the ground in order to avoid any further tensions, calling on the two countries to work together through the existing military mechanisms to address the circumstances surrounding the incident. The Democratic Unionist Party have affirmed its support to the armed forces in preserving the country's sovereignty and protecting its borders praising the heroic role of the army in confronting the Ethiopian military attacks on the country's eastern borders. In a statement, the Democratic Unionist Party has called for using any means to build a modern and national army that plays a role in protecting the country's borders and its natural resources. The party called on the Ethiopian leader to take into account 
the good neighborliness and historical relations between the two countries and to desist from repeating such negative attempts which will not benefit either of the two countries, the regions nor the national peace and security. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs has received an approval from the Qatari government on the nomination of Mr. Abdurrahim al-Siddiq as an executive ambassador and negotiator of the Republic of Sudan in the state of Qatar. The Federal Minister of Health has announced the registration of 226 new COVID-19 infections, in addition to 24 fatalities and 151 recovered cases, bringing the total number of the infections since the start of the pandemic to 5,027 cases, including 286 fatalities and 1,423 recovered cases. The Civil Aviation Authorities has extended its decision to close the Khartoum International Airport on Sunday, suspending international and domestic flights until the 15th of June, in accordance with the COVID-19 precautionary measures which were issued by the state. The decision excluded the scheduled and additional cargo flights humanitarian and technical assistant flights, the flights related to the companies operating on oil fields and the evacuations of foreigners. All the excluded flights are subjected to prior approval by the civil aviation authorities. Reminding headlines. The Dadford track is to resume negotiations on the security agreement tomorrow. The Chinese medical expert delegation holds a technical meeting with the Federal Minister of Health. The Dadford Lawyers Association has delivered its initial report on the breakup of the sitting. That was it from Al Shuruq TV. See you next time.